Hey there, this is Andy, and in today's video, we're going to be painting the flashing on my grandfather's roof. So first off, we got to gather all the needed supplies. This includes having a ladder, drop cloths, paint, a paint mixer, brushes, cups, and more, obviously, like coffee, water, you can't forget the necessities. So let's head on over to the roof. Well, here we are at my grandparents' house. Uh, they only live about 20 minutes from us, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Today we're going to be uh, painting the flashing on their roof. And uh, on the drive over, I finished the first aspect of the day, and that's the coffee, so we're done with that. And uh, now we move on to the project. And this is a project that my dad brought up to me a couple weeks ago and said, Hey, uh, Grandpa was talking, and we gotta, gotta, somebody needs to paint the flashing on his roof. So he's got metal flashing underneath the shingles on the top of his roof and I knew it was a one-story house it's not that big so I thought yeah that's a project I can take on so I decided yeah I can give that a go I told grandpa I'd do it um, you can reach everything around the outside with the ladder the roof is shallow enough you can get up on the roof and and reach it from above without too much issue so thought we would uh, thought we would give it a go so here we are uh, at his house and we're gonna paint the flashing. This is something I've never done before, but uh, I don't expect it to be that hard. Hello? Hello? Never underestimate an old man who graduated from Castleton State. That's right. It's a, it, Lori made it for me. Ah. She, she gave me this sweatshirt, but it was too small. <laughs> I'm hoping we can do it. We can reach a lot of it from above. We'll find out. <laughs> Especially over where all the bushes are. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, you do your thing. Okay. And uh, go to it. All right. The, the, the lad is in there. You know that. Yeah, yeah. Today we're using is a silver aluminum fiberglass uh, roofing paint and it's the it's made for roofs so that's what you should use um, I got it at the big blue box store and it was about $80 for this bucket uh, they have another one that was a little bit cheaper one that was quite a bit more expensive I figured I don't know what I'm doing this isn't my regular job and so I kind of went middle of the road um, there are instructions on on the jug, which I recommend you read, but uh, we're going the simple route this time and just kind of patching it up. Uh, you'll notice that there's spots on the roof that are a little bit rusty, and that's what we're covering up, obviously. The instructions say you should really treat all that. You should seal any seams and stuff with, like, roofing cement. We're not going to bother to do all that. We're just touching up the metal um, to make it look nice and to protect it a little bit longer. The roof is towards the end of its life, so at this point, like, I'm not trying to make it perfect because there's moss growing on it. It's, it's getting aged, and it'll need to be replaced within the next couple years, which, so this paint is going to hold up and get us to that point with any luck. Some people install it using rollers. Uh, we decided to just go with brushes this round. Uh, we thought it would be difficult to use, like, a rolling pan on the roof. Uh, also, we think this roof is shallow enough we can reach everything from up top. Uh, I apparently recently found out Dad told me they have brushes like on a long stick that are a little bit wider, which would probably make this job easier, but um, it's not that big of a roof, so we're just going to go forward with, uh, with the brushes and see how it goes. A professional roof painter would probably have a roller gun that's attached to the bucket down here on the ground, attached via a long tube, or they, they've got a spray gun, which works just as well. But for the DIYer and a small project like this, doing a one-off roof, 
a, a brush and a Saturday morning is all it's gonna take. Let's get to work. That's a wrap. We finished up. The two of us took us about three hours to paint the roof uh, flashing. It wasn't that hard. Probably should have worn gloves. Um, specifically work gloves because the roof was really hot getting on and off. Uh, but it wasn't too hard at all. Uh, Kylie was able to do a lot of, a lot of the, the roof on a ladder and I worked squatting down on the edge. There's some bushes on the front that uh, we couldn't get a ladder up against. And um, so I think she was a little bit quicker at that because she had good, better footing um, and probably wasn't quite so tired, but it worked fine. Two of us got it done. We used about half this bucket of paint and water, ring water. Um, it's only like 75 degrees outside, but when you're on a roof, it is super duper hot. Also, sunglasses, because you're staring at a reflective material, and uh, it'll practically make you go blind. So, sunglasses were a good thing I didn't think of, and I'm glad I had a couple in the car. So it's pretty easy, do-it-yourself project. Not too hard, especially on a single-story house, so uh, don't be too intimidated. It's thick paint, mix it up good, slap it on. Call it good. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.